If you're ready to take the freelance plunge, here is my step-by-step -step guide on how to set your hourly rate and ensure that your business not only stays afloat, but thrives. Welcome back to the channel where we work to become better creatives together. Now, as a freelancer, you can either focus on clients directly or go to agencies as well. I personally like using a bit of a mix myself. And I think a lot of us forget when we're starting out that many creative agencies and firms navigate their workload overages by bringing in designers or copywriters on a subcontractor basis. Understanding the freelance landscape. The standard practice is to negotiate an hourly rate. And so it's vital to recognize that this rate is very important. And so it's vital to have a rate that reflects what you need as a business owner. So let's break down the process of determining your hourly rate in six simple steps. Okay, step one, adding up your expenses. Start by summing up all of your business expenses on an annual basis. If you're new to freelancing, you can estimate these amounts as best you can. But here are some things that you can keep in mind. So general expenses like rent, utilities, marketing, legal services, and more. Don't forget to include your labor expenses. So your salary, your health insurance, and employee benefits and taxes. Don't forget your taxes. Step two, estimate your billable hours. You want to estimate your billable hours by working backwards. So you wanna take your year, then you wanna deduct non-billable time. So you wanna take sick days, you want public holidays, and you want vacation. And then any marketing efforts that you'll be doing or admin time from your full-time schedule. This will give you a realistic view of the hours available for client work. This step is also so important when it comes to preventing burnout. Step three, know your break-even rate. Determine the break-even rate by dividing the total expenses by the total billable hours. This is the minimum that you must charge per hour to cover expenses. However, we will not be stopping here. Your goal is to make money as a business so that you can survive when times are tough and you're a little bit dead, but also so that you can grow over time and have a business that thrives. Step four, bump it up to a billing rate. Your business deserves more than just breaking even. So decide on a target profit margin, typically 10 to 20%, and factor it into your billing rate. This ensures that your business doesn't just survive, but thrives throughout the future. Step five, look for industry comparisons. Research industry rates for freelancers with similar skills and experience. Understand the market standard for your role and adjust your rate accordingly. This ensures that your rate stays competitive and also justifies your experience. Step six, competition. While industry comparisons provide guidance, never sell your services below your break-even rate. If necessary, cut costs, increase billable hours, or adjust your profit margin. Staying competitive without compromising your business sustainability is key. One thing I will mention is that calculating your hourly rate isn't gonna be a one-time task. This is something that you should regularly reflect on and update. Regularly update it to reflect changes in costs, skills, and client demand. Keep your freelance venture not only current, but also competitive. If you found this guide helpful, be sure to subscribe for more insights. And as always, thanks for watching.